Now, for more on this potentially historic election for Latin America's third largest country, I'm joined by Hernando Covalho, a political analyst and libertarian activist. Thank you very much for your time there. Now, first of all, this uh, election has been described as one of the most important in a decade. Why so? Hello, Sally. Uh, yes, uh, it was shown, for example, uh, by all the amount of people that came out to vote. I came out to vote today, and they had uh, lineups for voting, and this is the first time in my life that it happened. And this was uh, the moment when the election, when the voters were going to decide on the future in, the, in a crossroads, the future of the country, if we were going to go leaning left or we were going to continue the path we were carrying. And apparently, uh, everything is going to change. So we have two, uh, two candidates here, Hernandez and Petro both. Petro being the first leftist, potentially, leftist pr uh, president for the country. Hernandez, of course, being the conservative candidate. What do the two uh, candidates offer? What kinds of versions of Colombia are we looking at here? Okay, so uh, the candidate Petro, um, if he won the elections, he wouldn't be the, the first uh, left-wing candidate that we've had. We've had in the past a few leftist candidates like Ernesto Samper, uh, also even Juan Manuel Santos can be considered a left-wing candidate. But Petro was offering a more clear uh, left-wing uh, uh, option, similar to what's going on in Chile or even Venezuela right now, for, in the opinion of some of the voters. Uh, Gustavo Petro definitely uh, wants to uh, change, and people who vote for, for Petro really want to change the status quo, like uh, the other reporter was saying. Uh, and the, the, the current uh, party in power has been for five periods in a row there, and people want change. The other candidate, Hernandez, he has, uh, he has no platform. He talks against corruption, but he just wants something different. And what Colombia is tired uh, of, apparently, is uh, this balance between extreme right and extreme left that everyone is presenting to them. What they want is a, a more uh, efficient uh, president and someone who is fighting corruption. So what does a shift uh, you know, to the left reflect about Colombia and Latin America as a whole if, for example, Petro was to win? Yes. Um, so uh, Colombia has been a country affected by proxy wars since the Cold War and even the war on drugs. So we have suffered the consequences of these conflicts led by superpowers. Uh, people here uh, are sick of violence. And people in the right uh, blame the left for the violence, and people in the left blame the right for the violence. But what we saw today is that people are tired of this dynamic again. Um, so if, if, if um, candidate Gustavo Petro was to win the elections, uh, Probably the message would be, yes, we want something uh, like what's going on in Chile, for example, where uh, more equality um, is what people really uh, want. Let's talk about the prospects of Gustavo Petro actually winning this election, because here in this first round, he gained 40 percent of the votes. Uh, that means that there's 60 percent left over. So despite the fact that Rodolfo uh, you know, got 28 percent, there's still two more conservative candidates that could pull those conservative votes together in order to, to challenge Petro. What are the chances of actually seeing Petro be able to pull this off? Right now, what we've heard um, all the analysts uh, say and mention is that it is very hard for Gustavo Petro to grow uh, against Hernandez right now uh, because all the votes from the other candidates, which are more right, are not going to go towards Petro. So it is historic. Uh, it is a statement that Petro won with the 40 percent for the first time in history, uh, an extreme left uh, candidate. But uh, chances are uh, the next president of Colombia is going to be the engineer, what, like they call him, the engineer uh, Rodolfo Hernandez, which is very unlikely. He is a dark horse. And uh, what people are saying is uh, they don't want anything of, of what's going on in the rest of Latin America. This is something entirely new. Hernandez, thank you so much for your time. Hernandez Cavallo for us there, political analyst and libertarian activist. Thank you very much.